today I wanted to talk about some books that I've been really wanting to reread lately and I have no like game plan on when or how long it'll take me to get to any of these but I just I wanted to make this video for myself so that I can go back and remember the list basically and so I thought I'd share with you as well. I wanted to announce before we really get into it that uh, you guys I asked you guys on Twitter and you guys decided that you would rather see rather than a buddy read you would rather see a like bookish vlog focused on the video on the book that you guys pick for me on the polls so this month I'm going to be reading You Are Not Alone by Guru Hendricks and that video will be coming up sometime soon-ish and then for this month on my May TBR there's a poll up for three books that I pulled um, from my Goodreads TBR shelf and so you guys can pick what book I should read next month. So that's out there for you guys but let's get right on into these books that I really want to reread. So first and foremost <laughs> I still haven't finished my wow this is way heavier than I thought. Um, I still haven't finished my reread of Kingdom of Ash. I am still like here so this is the end part so I'm like two-thirds almost of the way through. Um, I was doing a reread for this for the live shows that me and Brittany were hosting and like still haven't finished the reread. It's just been sitting there on my coffee table. I finally moved it because I cleaned off my coffee table and I need to get to it. Like I feel guilty at this point. <laughs> but I have some like really really nostalgic books and then some like books that I just I really enjoyed the first time around and that I want to read again because I feel like I want a refresher. So I'm going to kind of mix those two like sections into each other so that it's not like all nostalgia and then all like for a refresher section but first and foremost I once again would love to read the Harry Potter series um somebody at my work was asking me how many times I've read the series and I think to date I've read the seventh book six times but I don't know how many times I've read the first one because I always start with the first and I don't always make it to the end. So I want to do a full run through front to back or first to seventh books. I want to read this series again and I think I want to read the first, I have the first three right here but I think I want to, I want to get the fourth one and I want to read the first four in the illustrated editions and then move on from there. Um, yeah, I need to read these again. I mean, I don't need to, but I want to. <laughs> Next series that I've been really meaning to reread, and I think me and Chelsea are going to talk about doing a buddy read for these ones and maybe live shows. We haven't decided anything yet, but it was like a decision made a long time ago and then it never happened. And so we really want to reread the Court of Thorns and Roses series again. Um, this is also my best friend Bailey, who does the Girls Who Gab podcast with me. She also really loves this series, and she still hasn't read the third one, so maybe we'll get her to join, but or I'll get her to join, join but I really want to read these again, because I've only read them the one time, and I really, really love especially the second one. Um, but yeah, I just want to give them another try, another read-through, because I enjoyed them. I like rereading things. A book that I just really loved the first time around, and I would love to have another time with it is the Illuminae series. I read these in person, like physically the first time around, and I know everyone talks about how great the audiobook is, but honestly, I think I would read them physically again because it's just so fun. And I, like m the memory of Thanksgiving week, the year that these came out is so specific to reading this book in my mind because I spent the whole long weekend sitting and reading this and like couldn't put it down and when I finished I like almost just picked it up and read it again which I don't really ever feel like I'm doing I'm not one of those types of readers usually but that's how good and how much I enjoyed this so I would love to take a dive back into these. Another book that I really, really loved the first time around and would love to have another moment with is The Help by Katherine Stockett. I also love the movie of this and unfortunately I have the movie cover. I really like to not have movie covers for the books, but it is what I have. 
I love this book so much. My favorite quote comes from this. You is smart, you is kind, you is important. I love it so much. It's almost always something that I write in like um, when our kids leave and we we sometimes will write things for them like on a little like poem that we give them at work. When they leave a lot of times I write that quote because I just, I love it a lot and I would love to journey my way through this one more time. I do need to have a conversation yet again about the one and only Twilight. I just made a video all about the Midnight Sun new release and how I am planning on doing a reread of these. So this is the most like specific and in the work sort of thing happening right now. I definitely want to reread these with Midnight Sun coming out again. So that'll definitely happen. This is just such like a, a building block of my reading life along with Harry Potter that I definitely need to read them again. Another series that I absolutely loved and I also loved the movie adaptations, there's two of them, four, is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I want to read this again so badly because it's a murder mystery and like so much dark terrifying shit happens in this book. There's so many trigger warnings. Please look them up before you pick this up. But it's an adult mystery thriller and I want to read it again. I've only read it the one time. I think I wouldn't read the whole series though. I would only read this one because the sequels are like not that, not up to par with this first one. But man, this one is so good. I also would love to take a second read through of the Diviner series, especially with King of Crows having come out. I still haven't read King of Crows and I really want to listen to these on audiobook again because the audiobooks are phenomenal. It's the only way I've read them, but I also, again, just like Illuminae with the physical copies, will definitely listen to these ones because I just fell in love with January Lavoie's narration of this story and I want to read these again so badly before I go into King of Crows because so much happens. And I'm also like really terrified that I'm not gonna like King of Crows as much because I've heard like really mixed things about it. And I'm so nervous, but I also really love this series and I just wanna read it again. This week, a new book is coming out by Suzanne Collins. And with that, I've also been really wanting to read The Hunger Games. I also, I see the um, movies a lot because the kids at my work tend to want to watch the movies and they are allowed to pick a movie every week to watch. And so they read it, they watch it all the time. So I've seen the movies quite frequently throughout my time working there. Um, but I've been really wanting to pick them up. And especially like when quarantine started, I watched Mockingjay. No. Yeah. Mockingjay part one with the kids at work. And then all of a sudden I like had this desire to pick these books up without even realizing that Song of Bird, this ballad of songbirds and whatever the book is called, you know the one, um, without even realizing that that was coming out as soon as it is. I just had a hankering for this. I haven't picked it up yet, but I really, really want to. And the last book that I want to talk about is a book that I read when it came out. I was gifted this by Kaz over at Little Book Owl, and it is My Sister Rosa by Justine Larvalesier. This is a mystery book about a boy who's a teenager and he believes that his sister who is like s small she's like 10 9 ish he believes that she is is a sociopath and it's so good like i just thought this book was so well written and i would really like to just be in the story again because it was such a ride and it's like it's a slow ride for sure not everyone likes this book but I thought it was so well done and I just would love to be in it again and especially because it has been a few years since I read it. I think this came out in 2017. This book came out in 2016 so it has been a few years since I dabbled into it so it almost feels like maybe I wouldn't remember all of the details and stuff even though I do remember the, the ending but like I would just love to be with this story again. So those are all the books that if I had all the time in the world, I would be rereading. I definitely don't think I'll actually reread all of these in the very near future, but again, I wanted to make basically a list for myself and share with you guys what books are like on my priority for rereading if I get to them. So that's 
this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. What books are you really wishing that you had time to reread or what books are you prioritizing to reread? I think if I had to pick like the top three, it would definitely be Twilight, The Hunger Games, and A Court of Thorns and Roses. Those are the top three that I've been actually trying to make plans to reread in the near future. So those are definitely my top three. What about you guys? Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Monday and Wednesday on this channel, so I will see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye!